You know me. I'm your student, classmate, friend, colleague, partner. You know me, but you don't know what I'm going through. Trying to explain mental illness to someone who has never dealt with it is like trying to describe an active volcanic eruption in front of your eyes to someone who didn't witness it. It is this immensely powerful, all-consuming experience which you rarely can describe unless you face it firsthand. Mental illness is total blackness, a darkness that runs so deep that you sometimes forget why you deserve to be alive at all. It is a tiny light, but when you try to move toward it, the light seems to get further away. Mental illness is feeling like you're drowning, suffocating, trying desperately to get to the surface, but never seeming to reach it. It is feeling like your whole body is filled with lead, a weight constantly sitting on your chest hanging from your arms, dragging you down. It is a voice in my head telling me, convincing me that no one cares, and that I don't matter, and that no one would care if I was gone. It's that feeling when you stand too close to the edge of a building and you realize how quickly you could jump, not fall, but jump, deliberately and purposefully jump over the edge, plunging yourself down to the street below, flying for just a moment until you fall into the unknown. Mental illness is sitting in a crowded room, but feeling like you are all alone. It is hoping that somebody will see that you are not okay and save you from your demonic and self-destructive thoughts, but they never come. It is suffering from loneliness, but running at the first sign of commitment. It is feeling numb to the point that you drag the blade across your skin just so you can prove to yourself that you can feel something, rationalizing that pain, making it real intangible, and something you can fix. Mental illness is all of these things and more. But you don't know that. How could you? How are you to know that my heart pounds in the middle of my 8.50 a.m. lecture for a reason unbeknownst to me, making it hard to even breathe, let alone pay attention? How are you to know that my academic performance is suffering because of my mental illness? You know me. I'm your student, classmate, friend, colleague, partner. You know me, and you don't know what I'm going through, but I want you to.